talk about pitchers and catchers and maybe temperatures uh, in the 60s today. Maybe not quite as warm as what we've been saying most of this week. We're going to back those temperatures down a little bit, but still above normal and nice and mild. 51 right now in North County, 50 in Edwardsville and Farmington and downtown. Uh, you can see the breeze here in Edwardsville and also in Farmington. I do think uh, yesterday was windy, no question about it. We had a 45 mile per hour wind gust. That was the strongest wind gust reported at Lambert. I, I think breezy this morning, but I think these winds will wind down a little bit as we get into the afternoon. But you can see some gusts in excess of 20, almost 25 miles per hour. These are the gusts that we've seen over the past few minutes. So. Again, still blustery out there this morning, but I do think that wind will taper off a little bit. And a few clouds, mainly in the northern part of the viewing area, but really we have our eyes here in St. Louis on this low pressure system, little dynamic storm system down in the southwest around the four corners. That's going to slide just to the south of St. Louis, and I mean just to the south, and bring a chance of showers and thunderstorms and increase the wind again too, and then knock the temperatures down. Hang on, 49 at 9 o'clock this morning, sunny and cool by noon in the mid 50s. Yeah, get outside and take a little walk at lunchtime today. West winds at 8 to 12, so they back off a little bit. There will be a breeze, but not too bad. 62 for the high this afternoon. Beautiful uh, spring like day almost. All right, here's the super predictor at 5 o'clock this evening. Again, sunny skies today and dry weather, but that system rolls in from the southwest overnight at 10 o'clock. I, maybe you could see a, an advance sprinkle, uh, but uh, main uh, area of rain moves through late tonight. This is at 3 a.m. So we're talking showers and possibly a few thunderstorms as well. Most of the rain is out of here by daybreak tomorrow. Could see a spot shower or two left over. Could you see a flurry? I kind of doubt it, but it is an indication that this air is going to be cooling off in a big way. And again, these storms that roll through tonight have a low risk that they could be severe over the southern part of the viewing area. So get an update before you go to bed. Don't let these storms sneak up on you. These could be uh, severe. So again, uh, we want you to be uh, advised. So temperatures on Thursday. This is interesting. Northwest winds at 20 to 30 miles per hour. So the wind picks back up at 7 a.m. We're at 43, but at noon we're at 42. Temperatures crash as we go through the day. 40 by 3 o'clock and down to the mid 30s by 6 o'clock. So it's going to be a cold night tomorrow night, Thursday night into Friday. We get a winter day. So 62 today with sunshine and that night rain, windy falling temperatures tomorrow. The high for the date will be 49, but it will be falling and down into the 30s by the uh, late afternoon and evening and then into the 20s on Friday morning, a high of 38 on Friday, a sunny day, but the weekend we bounce right back mid 50s on Saturday near 60 on Sunday. Beautiful weekend to look forward to mm -hmm. gets us into the latter half wow. of February. Still in the 50s. Yep. Still knocking on wood. Yep. Crossing fingers. Yep. Doing Take whatever we got to do. Yep. Tearing every <laughs> day off the calendar trying That's to get right. towards okay. spring. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, kids. See you soon.